Nice to meet you. We're here on uh, Torso Electronics. Yes. Please. And you've got a new sequencer, right? Sure, this is our first product. We are a newly started company from uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. Um, and this is the, the T1. It's a different take on the sequencing. It's an algorithmic sequencer that introduces a faster workflow and uh, more happy accidents. Um, it's a really fun machine um, with uh, some great features. I can quickly go through some of them. So it has a, the Euclidean algorithm. You can also place notes here. Instead, it also has uh, it's a multi, uh, multi, it's polyphonic. So it, you can place multiple notes in here. You can modulate, for example, the pitch. Um, so here you can... Um, um, change scales, modulate the pitch. Scales of it. I do make some changes here, yeah, I can save it to a new pattern and I can also always go back to the, the old pattern so that that's a great way to uh, proceeding in the composition. Um, it, it also has a lot of uh, features for, uh, let me just clear this out, um, I can also do, it also has some really cool uh, uh, repeating after each pause. That you can make uh, repeats. Um, um, you can do some really some great stuff with that. It has a great um, um, uh, some great voicing algorithms in here. modulate every parameter on the machine. So it can really go from kind of standard kind of step sequencing sort of vibe exactly. to much more esoteric kind of Exactly, strangeness. exactly. Yeah. So how have you got, at the moment, how have you got this set up? Well, uh, at the moment this one is just set up to the computer and uh, it also is uh, set up to this uh, Roland D05 the uh, TRS MIDI, you can see here maybe. Yeah, in terms of connectivity, what have we got? So it's a uh, USB powered and obviously USB over MIDI. Uh, MIDI in, out and through the uh, TRS MIDI and it also has two gates, four CV outputs for your modular system, a CV input uh, and a sync in and out with reset. So it's a uh, really... Ca uh, it's a great machine for integration uh, with all kinds of stuff, uh, old school hardware, and the Euro rack, and also your computer. So, um, what sort of price point are you aiming at? What? What is the price point that you're kind of trying to? So get it's to? Uh, 525 euros retail price. Um, yeah. So, um, do you want to just show us a few more kind of tips, tips and tricks of how to use it? Sure, I would love to. So it's. Um, uh, when everything has is been modulating with the random modulation, you can you can change um, uh, you can change uh, you can change uh, you can lock the random uh, modulation. If you if something happens you like, you can also set it to a, a 50% uh, chance of random events um, and. Um, it also has uh, like a, um, it's a, a LFO, something similar to a LFO um, here over different parts. 
over the, the pitch range so it can jump up and down. It has a, um, it also has a, um, a accent uh, section with different groups inside where you can, but you can also do it randomly. So all of the uh, all of these knobs are um, push push buttons as well, right? Exactly. So, so when you've got two you've got two parameters on each knob. Yes, the sec secondary functions are accessed with the control button over here. And when you push a button, this is the velocity. I can turn it, and this acts like a screen. But you can also push the buttons. So they are both the screen and a way to change the parameter values. Um, as a, as a, um, the length here of each track, by default, it's set to infinite. So if, um, so if you have different tracks with different lengths, the Euclidean cycle they will evolve forever but in here there's also you can set set it to certain lengths and you can also make them shorter so if I for example here um, uh, let me just take this one so I have a beat here and um, uh, I can uh, multi-track edit both of them. I can change the length and make them shorter, so I can make some kind of glitchy MIDI effect over here. Let me just mute this one. So how many tracks? How many tracks is it? So it's um, it's a 16 track. Um, 16 track MIDI. Yeah, uh, yeah. 16 yeah. tracks, um, 16 patterns, and 16 banks. Um, um, you can uh, store all the information on the banks uh, and save uh, for later works. Um, and um, and it has uh, even more features hidden in here. Um, if um, that's uh, definitely a real fun to play around with. Excellent. Well, Jonas, thank, thank you very you so much. Thank you so much.